It is gone. Oh. So I had uh, my dinner bungee corded onto the back and I knew it was a pretty ghetto setup. Unfortunately, it didn't last even a block and it is gone now. But I saw where it fell, so I'm gonna go and see what's left of it. Probably nothing. It's still there. Oh, there's nothing left. It's everywhere. It's absolutely everywhere. Goodbye, delicious chicken shawarma. You'll be missed. This is how far it made it. There's the chicken shawarma. And there's the shawarma place right there. So I'll just turn around and buy another shawarma. So as you saw earlier in the video, I bought some shawarma for dinner, stuck it on the back of my bike, and tried to ride home with it that way, and it didn't work. It fell off and smashed all over the roadway. So I went back to just buy another one to take home, and they asked me why I was back to order exactly what I just ordered, and I told them it fell off the bike. And they felt so bad for me, and they were like, well, we'll give you a discount. So they gave me a big discount. And then the guy who was in front of me in line uh, heard what happened and he paid for the second one for me. He paid for the discounted one. It was just like so nice of them. I don't know where that came from. It's rare that a stranger would extend a helping hand. I mean, it's such a small thing. I mean, it's like a, basically I got my shawarma plate for five bucks. It's not like a huge cost thing, but it's just so nice of him to extend the, that gesture. And I guess part of it is because he has a lot of family that rides and his brother rides and he's sort of I guess motorcycling is such a big thing in his family that you know other motorcyclists are he feels like to some extent they're part of his family so he was like he's helping somebody in his family out really cool guy nice guy we ended up talking for like 15 minutes while we waited for our food together his name was Mark thank you Mark wherever you are 